And welcome back to another video. What started out here is a prototype build on the breadboard. Turned out into a circuit mounted prototype. Again, it's a combination AM transmitter and RF signal generator that covers from about 428 kilohertz up to just under 2 megahertz based on my design which can be tweaked. Let me share the schematic with you guys in the bill of materials if you choose to build this for yourself. Again, you can see the building blocks here. I'm leveraging an Arduino Nano. I'll expand more on that in just a moment. And uh, you can see we're tuning things by using a rotary encoder. And the oscillator itself is the uh, SI5351 clock generator. I'm actually going to drive the MC1350 through a tuned circuit. I'll expand more on that and we'll turn the square wave into a sine wave and of course we're displaying the information back over to the OLED. I'm just using a 128 by 64 and you can see the RF output here. Number zero on the SI5351 is routed down to the input side of the um, MC 1350PIF amplifier. For those that have followed my recent videos, the configuration of the MC 1350P is almost identical, a couple exceptions. You'll notice I'm using a center tap inductor for L2. I'll expand more on that in just a minute. Also, you'll notice I'm using some diodes on the output side to sample the RF signal and convert that into a DC voltage which I use for tuning in addition to the Zener D3 which is uh, ensuring that my voltage on the analog pin of the Arduino does not exceed 5 volts DC. As I alluded to earlier, to tune the unit we can just rotate the uh, rotary encoder I've got things set now for 10 kilohertz steps in the sketch. You can adjust that and I'll expand more in just a bit if you want to use this as a signal generator. Knock that down just to a few hertz. To uh, tune the circuit, we'll leverage the switch on the rotary encoder. You can see if I hit the switch, you can see a calibrate mode comes up. I can take the tuning condenser itself and adjust for the uh, maximum signal using the uh, readout value and or the bar graph that I created. And when I let go, it holds that position until I rotate the uh, rotary encoder itself. That creates the purest sine wave and brings the uh, LC circuit into uh, a resonant. A few notes here I placed on the bill of material. You'll notice I used an Arduino Nano Every. It has an onboard switching power supply. It creates a lot of noise. I've ordered a regulated linear power supply, 5 volt, and I'm actually going to power that through the USB connection point for my board instead of replacing the board since I already have it mounted. It's my understanding the other nano boards uh, don't have the switching power supply, so maybe some of that noise will not be an issue. L2, you can add a secondary winding, six to eight turns, as I noted here, and uh, create another output that's probably closer to uh, 50 ohms for tying that in as a uh, signal generator and or to drive an external amplification circuit is needed. And you can find the sketch itself, the bill of material, and the schematic in the video description. I'll place the link there. And if you look at this line of code, I was talking about how to change the bandwidth itself. I've uh, done this by taking the uh, long 
new position equals my encoder read and dividing that by 0 0.04 you can go to uh, 2 and uh, get this thing down into just a few kilohertz steps if you choose to do so in addition you'll see the starting frequency just below that so you set the ULL I've got mine defaulted to 1 megahertz or 1000 kilohertz so you can just adjust that number accordingly I appreciate you guys uh, watching have fun uh, building this and modifying the uh, code to meet your needs everyone out there uh, take care <laughs>